Otep, everybody. Brother Mamut Reed Nahu with the All African People's Revolutionary Party. I'm here interviewing Minister Reverend Barry Houston, one of our great elders out here uh, who's been out in the trenches for years educating us about our culture, spirituality, religions, and so on and so forth. This brother is a graduate of Fisk University, father of three, a king in our community. Uh, he's been able to lead the House of Sankofa for some time now, encouraging young brothers like myself and the rest of our community to step our game up and uh, educate ourselves, make sure that we're aware of our ancestors and the work that they lay down. So today this interview is going to be about spirituality and activism and how can we uh, get a better overstanding of spirituality and activism and how to benefit our community. Um, Hotep, I'm glad to be here. Ashe, Ashe. Well, our first question for you, Minister Houston. Define spirituality and how it relates to activism. Well, if I were to define uh, spirituality as it relates to activism, uh, I would tell you that uh, spirituality is the collective uh, ele elevation of a people's consciousness. And uh, if we gonna could link that to activism, this elevated power gives people the instinctive uh, love of justice to establish those systems and those institutions that speak to that instinctive love for justice. I say, I say. And then, very similar question, define activism. Well, uh, activism is it, when we take the elevated power of our conscious awareness and attach it to our will to establish those foundations that 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 will speak to justice for the total collective now i know there's a bunch of debate out there and and you know this say this say and that saying this say can you separate spirituality from activism can the two be separated well, uh, it, it, that's a two-part question, uh, a two-part answer to that. But what I would tell you is that um, it's, it speaks to a people's worldview and their culture. And, but if you would ask African people, for instance, uh, can you separate spirituality from activism, that would be just like asking them, can you... Uh, separate the concept of God from civilization and of course the answer to that would be no and so we, we see that spirituality and activism is is, is uh, inseparably linked why is there a need for spirituality and activism in our community and our culture and other communities and cultures as well well, let's, let's say the, 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 um, the, the, because of the Africans' understanding of the role of spirituality in society, period, it, what it did was uh, establish a cultural contribution for all humanity. And, uh, and, and, and when we understand that, then we know that we, whatever society we are in, that understanding of the role of spirituality allows us to build the very best society that we have as a people. How can people utilize spirituality and activism to improve our relations amongst each other? Well, um, it has never changed, brother. Uh, you know, the, the, when you talk about the system of spirituality, it used to be based on this concept of initiation where one gets a deep understanding of one's obligation to establish uh, spirituality and I'm saying that to say that we, we, we uh, in pre-European Africa we had these systems of initiation so people could have a deep understanding of their relationship to their brother and their sister and the other elements of society as well. So you, you, you get in tune with that through your practice of what we call today, for lack of a better word, meditation and uh, those concepts. Is there a way we can get all the different religions 
to cooperate in the spirit of spirituality and activism? Well, uh, the, 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 the concept, if, we, if we're going to move forward in the spirit of uh, spirituality and activism, one, I, I would say to make a long story short, all we have to do as human beings is to seek truth. And when we find truth, produce correctness and justice with the truth we find. And, 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 and that will give us this fundamental foundation of this uh, link uh, for all of humanity to cooperate one with another. Now, I see a bunch of people within different uh, religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs or, or what have you. Uh, why would you, what would be your reason or, or your, your view on how some of these people are religious or spiritual or so, so, so you know, so they say or whatever the case may be, yet they're not able to uh, produce spirituality or activism. They don't. They, you know, they work, they go home, they stay in the house, people are out advocating, protesting, so on and so forth. But these people uh, claiming to be spiritual or religious, yet uh, they, they feel like there is no need for activism. What would be the cause for that lack of activism inside of them? Well, one, one reason, uh, one cause of that is this thing about um, uh, uh, not correctly understanding one's history and one's culture and uh, by that I mean um, uh, the, the, if, if you look uh, historically at uh, the African uh, society uh, uh, or the African nations or, or black nations uh, these were all the nations that, that, that had a worldview that underst understood that in order to be humane if you will they would have to uh, uh, embrace this concept of spirituality, and so in and, and, and doing that, that helped them to have a sound understanding of this instinctive love for justice, if you will. Now, uh, for decades, centuries, we've been dealing with this demonic, oppressive, imperialistic colonialist, neo-colonialist, and every other is that we can throw out there for, for a long, long time. Right now though, with this, you know, this new situation with the president and so on and so forth, do you feel like uh, spirituality and activism is under attack in, in, in a different form or a new form than we're used to reading about, where you're used to seeing even within the last 10 years or so? Well, um, that comes from our understanding of what is uh, incorrectly called racism but correctly called white supremacy. If you understand the, the, uh, this, this system or this institution of white supremacy, you understand it has different stages. And uh, we are currently in the cycle or the stage of what is called the refinement phase. And uh, that's different from all the other stages in that it, it makes this form of oppression more appealable to the conscience of African people. In other words, uh, you, uh, they, they, they would tell us that we are Americans and we are attached to those American ideals so that, that they make it more palatable to people's conscience, you see. But uh, in actuality, uh, we're the same Africans we were we are the same Africans today as our ancestors were when they first came to this, to these shores. I say, Now, when the masses uh, around the world, when the masses uh, lack spirituality and activism within each individual, uh, each individual self, how does that benefit the system? How 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 would that be a beneficial reality for the system? Well, the, the, that's the, the, the basis of, 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 of a backward system is confusion. And, and you know when a people is confused, that, only, that, that, that allows the oppressor to control a people. And, and in order to control a highly spiritual people, what do you do? You, you, you confuse them about their spirituality. 
so um one of the things that i, I saw will we'll, in more recent we'll say this this nfl football year you have people like colin kaepernick right taking the knee uh that was activism that, that was, was his form of activism yeah, yeah. and we see clearly that his character was attacked mm -hmm. so uh what we talk about spirituality and activism uh in his situation he became he was active and they attacked his spirit is that uh, uh historical is that their technique is that their tactic that, that that's 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 that is uh, absolutely their technique. They have always isolated uh, 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 individuals who would underline their Africanness uh, and uh, uh, attack them on a personal level uh, so that those of us who are not thinking uh, would follow their suit. Uh, you see, and, 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 and if, we, if we were clicking on all cylinders when this young brother uh, came out uh, uh, and, and refused to participate in the national anthem and we understand the history of the national anthem then all of us should have also uh, been supporting this brother with, with, with no questions asked unapologetically it's, it, it, it's, it's just simple because the national anthem uh, was, was written by a slave master and it's only in a backward system that they would make you think that the slave master can also be what you call a Christian. <laughs> and he can also have spirituality, which is an impossibility. So for us, uh, when we're talking to the youth, we're talking to some of the young kids coming up, young teenagers, and we're talking to them about spirituality and activism. What would be a message that you would have for the youth? Well, I, I, I would say that if we really wanted to embrace this concept of the role of spirituality in our everyday lives, it is the greatest power that uh, our ancestors could have bestowed to us, simply if we embrace it. So it's, so, uh, it's the greatest power among people on planet Earth. Now, um, you know, we're going to be around a bunch of people who have different religious beliefs, uh, spiritual beliefs, and so on and so forth. Um, we've had several discussions in the past, and I, I like to touch on a few of the, the leaders or uh, the deities of these uh, religions and spiritual uh, practices. And we'll start off with uh, people, know, uh, people know him as Jesus. Uh, based on the information that we read about, about this, this person, uh, was he an activist? Um, every 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 bit of data that we read about the person that we know as Jesus was synonymous with activism um, and uh, and also uh, you you uh, the, 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 the prophet Muhammad as well and also uh, the the the, uh, the great Buddha as well uh, there life history is a demonstration of understanding uh, this connection of spirituality and activism because you cannot have spirituality without acting on it sure. you see or you cannot act empty without properly putting spirituality as your guide sure. so minister Houston can you give us a few examples of some of these um these forms of activism, whether it be Buddha or Jesus or Muhammad or Krishna or whoever else, can you give us a, a few examples in, in whoever you want to pick? Well, let, let, let's 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 pick um, um, let's just let, let's pick uh, Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King, since we we're, we're here near that. You see, uh, 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 as uh, Kwame Ture taught us, Dr. King was an honest man. Uh, he was honest and and. And that goes in hand in hand when we say in the house of Sankofa, seek truth, and when you find the truth, produce justice and correctness with the truth you find. And Dr. King's life was a demonstration of this. Uh, and uh, uh, because he was an honest man, this, is, this gave him, as I say, spirituality is the greatest power you can collectively have as a people. Well, he individually demonstrated that when he as a uh, preacher came out and
criticize America, how can uh, uh, see you you, you can't um, uh, this whole thing about uh, America and her role in the war in Vietnam was causing so much destruction in human life. How could he be silent on that and 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 not speak against that with his elevated understanding of spirituality and. Uh, 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 Brother Malcolm X who told us that uh, uh, that you can't uh, in order for you to understand uh, what is going on in Mississippi you cannot not understand what is going on in Mississippi without knowing what is happening in Vietnam or, or any other place in this great universe of ours. Oh, sure. uh, as far as media goes uh, there's some artists that you can think of, whether past or present artists, who really uh, illustrated spirituality and activism in their music. Yeah, well, uh, the, 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 the number one uh, person, and there's so many, but the number one in my mind would be Bob Marley. Uh, uh, and and there's so many, so many lyrics that he has that uh, would speak to that. Uh, another one that comes to my mind is Paul Robeson. Uh, and yet another one uh, that come to my mind is Nina Simone, Mississippi Goddamn. You see, because she was she was trying to remind us of these atrocities that we that we experience every day in our everyday life, uh, while being told at the same time we live in a democracy. Uh, it's it's total hypocrisy. Is what it is. And now, uh, as far as we're going to go ahead and talk about the athletes a little bit. Uh, athletes, do they have a responsibility? I know we talked about Colin Kaepernick and so on and so forth. Do they have a responsibility to uh, be spiritual and also produce a certain level of activism? Well, I, 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 I would, I would, I would, I would uh, unapologetically say yes. We need to be very clear on that. And we, have, we as African people, have a long history of understanding just that you see uh, even with the uh, brothers here um, as recent uh, at San Jose State the track runners uh, you know their names uh, Tom, Tom Smith, John Carlos jo John Carlos see that when they got up on that stand and and uh, demonstrated a, a uh, that they were in unity with this concept of black power that was them meeting their obligation despite the odds you see uh, 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 Muhammad Ali would be another one uh, 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 when, when he refused to f go and fight in the, uh, the this war the the, uh, the Vietnam War uh, when he coined the phrase that a, 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 a Viet, Viet Cong have never called him a nigger so what is he gonna go and fight uh, on what's, uh, against a people who never harmed him? You see, so all the hurt and harm he ever received, he it was right here in America. You see, so he elevated his consciousness to uh, in, in, to enact his, his his power of spirituality in, in, in his experience. Okay. Uh, recently, some of our members from the All African People's Revolutionary Party traveled to uh, Standing Rock to stand with our Native brothers and sisters. Um, we know that Native Americans, their spirituality and activism is deep-rooted. Would you talk about that a little bit uh, of Native Americans, their spirituality and activism, and how it relates and connects with what we went through in our spirituality and activism? Well, uh, it, it, you see, um, in America, if you if if, if you were to open a book and uh, and and you will look at, at, at a page if you will this is African spirituality and this is what you call indigenous spirituality uh, they are very much similar you, you you couldn't tell the difference because they have that same fundamental link and 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 this is this is this is this is why uh, when we get here in America, uh, many of us, uh, when we ran from the plantation, many of us became part of the indigenous 
uh, tribes or, or societies, if you will. And, and a lot of us uh, were allowed to elevate to uh, positions of, uh, uh, of, of what would you, for lack of a better term, chieftains and all of those. And the reason for that, because they reflected each other in their understanding of uh, the interrelated, interrelatedness of spirituality in each one's society. So this may be my last question, but I'm on a roll and I'm loving what I'm hearing. I would ask you this, uh, Minister Houston, what are some of the things that's put in place right now by white supremacists, demons, whatever title you want to, crackers, whatever title you want to use of people who are responsible for uh, what we're going through. I would ask you, what are some of the, the roadblocks or what are some of the tactics that they're using to stunt our spirituality and activism? Well. Um Number one, the job of a backward system is to always confuse the people. And how do you confuse a highly spiritual people? Uh, we as African people, we as indigenous people, uh, we have always uh, used our uh, internal self to intuit uh, about our spirituality. So. If uh, you wanted to uh, put a stifle on that, then now what you do is that you, 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 you emphasize the external aspects of spirituality, which would always cause confusion because spirituality is something from the inside of you. And, 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 and what I mean by that too is that you get... Um, you get representatives who will speak to this external aspect of religion, you see, and, 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 and just repetitively impose the people's conscience with the, with the external concept versus the internal concept. I see. I see. So the, the government, right, we have uh, different tools and, and, uh, uh, that they utilize. We'll say media, we'll say the prison industrial complex, we'll, you know, what are a few more uh, um, ways in which this system utilizes tyrannic actions, we'll say. Uh, uh, you, you, now, now you, repeat that again. So, I so, can so what are some of the ways this system uh, utilizes the system in itself, whether it be institutions, uh, education, uh, or a prison right. system, or, or what have you. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very simple. You know, um, uh, again, how do you con how do you cause confusion in a highly spiritual people? And that's connected to a people's worldview. And your worldview is directly uh, connected to your culture. And the greatest area under attack for African people is in the culture arena. Now, who controls the culture arena of that highly spiritual people at this particular point in time? You can go the educational system, you can go the religious system between the preachers or, uh, or, or that concept, or even down to uh, disconnected families. See, so that's how these are the multitude of methods that is imposed upon us. Well, y'all, you know, we're here to talk about spirituality and activism, and there's plenty more to talk about. We wanted to talk about these things specifically. We really appreciate Minister Houston uh, with the House of Sankofa who come support us with the All African People's Revolutionary Party. We appreciate everybody for taking the time to come out and hear what uh, Minister Houston had to say and everybody else on the panel had to say. Thank you so much. Uh, please stay solid. Please stay solid. And I would like to say in closing, uh, when we talk about spirituality and activism, I did want to, uh, one of the things that I do, I always like to uh, give people something solid so they can go and do the research themselves about uh, we are a great people. And um, one of the things on this role of spirituality as far as African people are concerned, this is a book published 
by uh, the author Herbert Aptaker, and it's, it's called American Negro Slave Revolts. Now, in this book, it would tell you that when we get to what is called New Europe, America, uh, uh, the one thing that we heard the Europeans talking about all the time was this thing about democracy, which is, uh, in their terms, is related to spirituality. But when we see that, we see in, an immediate contradiction from where we come from, which, which was, was, was a society built on true democracy. So when we get here and uh, we see what they were telling us, was a contradiction in what was actually happening. So we revolted. Everywhere they said that democracy was in America, we revolted. Because it was not democracy, it was not spirituality. And uh, 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 that's again the American Negro Slave Revolts and uh, the, the book uh, that, that that was also a, a link to this book is is called On Democracy. Alexis de Tocqueville, uh, when he when he said the very thing that uh, Doctor Abtaker says here about America always talked about democracy, but the one thing that will will will, will, will refute that is the presence of Africans on this soil in chains. You see, so. Uh, and then the other book is Let the Circle Be Unbroken by Mirren Ani, which she tells us very plainly, we are a spiritual people because we are an African people. I, I don't think that we uh, entertain that the understanding of that enough, and see, and not the reverse. We are spiritual people because we are an African people. We need to think deeply about what that really means as far as uh, us understanding our spirituality. Ashe. It's a profound, it's a profound, profound understanding. Ashe. So, will it be safe to say for African people, if something does not sit right with our spirit, we you, get active? You, you, you get active. You move. You see, uh, uh, our spirituality. If, if 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 I didn't have words, I would I could move my fingers. Or, or, you know, just constant and constant action and constant action, because that's what it means. You see, attaching that to your human will to have the fundamental uh, instinctive love of justice. You see, and 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 that's that's the. That's the legacy and the heritage that our ancestors have given us, our instinctive love for justice.